Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with another deck review. Um, like the previous video said with this Chakra Wisdom Oracle, this particular video is going to be the Chakra Wisdom Tarot, also by Tori Hartman. Um, I will say that as far as tarot books go, tarot cards, tarot decks, and the guidebook, I appreciate the fool's journey as it is explained in this particular deck. Now, a little bit of background. Um, after getting the Chakra Wisdom Oracle um, and using it, being very comprehensive, very accurate, um, I decided to take my divination and chakra work a little, you know, I progressed a little bit with it and decided to not only get this particular tarot deck, I actually got a few more chakra decks, which of course I will go over in other videos, but I kind of fell in love with this particular uh, deck just simply because of the fool's journey as it's depicted in this particular deck. Uh, which we'll get into the guidebook in a second. But I feel like the way that Tori Hartman um, incorporates chakras into this particular deck is phenomenal. The way that um, it's integrated into the pictures and the color schemes, everything is awesome. So let's dive into this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, again, we have this slide out box, which I'm not a huge fan of because this tends to come out kind of easy, but that doesn't take away from the deck. Pretty decent guidebook um, as far as size, um, font quality, all of that good stuff. Again, we have our table of contents listed here. Um, just like with the Oracle deck, it goes into, you know, what are chakras, what do chakras do, um, and then how it's incorporated into tarot, and then how to use the book and the guy, I mean, and the deck. So, it gives you little quick references uh, throughout, but I think this is part of one of the spreads here. And then it talks about the major arcana. And then it goes right into it here. So it breaks down which chakra it is. Um, and then it just goes into keywords, if it's reversed, what planets align to it. There's a meditation here. And then it also gives you next steps, steps next actions, and advice. Um, it's in color. You guys know how I feel about guidebooks with color so I'm in love with it um but just really if you go in and you start to read how it all breaks down I absolutely love it um and then once you get into the minor arcana it's broken down differently so it goes by the chakras so you might have all of the aces here. So all of the aces are referred to as, you know, root chakra cards. And then you have the eights because, of course, it's going to start over. Um, after you've gone through all seven chakras, it starts over. So now you have the eights. Then you go into the sacral chakra. Those are going to be the twos. And the nines, and then on and on from there. But the way they're broken down, um, I absolutely love. I remember pulling the Three of Swords, and I'm gonna find that card so I can show you guys. But the typical meaning of the Three of Swords is totally different than the message I received when I pulled the Three of Swords. So I'm gonna show you guys the imagery now. As an African-American woman, I love diversity in tarot decks. I love seeing people who look like me. I love seeing other cultures represented. So when I see a deck that lacks diversity, normally I shy away from it. It doesn't really call to me. I'm not all that keen on it. However, this particular tarot deck 
despite the lack of diversity, still very, very much called to me because of the messages that I receive when I use them. So it's, I want to say it's very dramatic. Like these are very over the top images of men and women in these elaborate gowns and these elaborate settings. Which, honestly, had this been any other type of deck, I probably would have shied away from. It's very much District 1 and 2 of the Hunger Games, <laughs> if you feel me. But the messages that I receive from these cards, I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, I'm able to see things in the imagery that makes it easy for me to look past the lack of diversity. So I just want to show you a few of the major arcana. And then I want to pull up that three of swords card. As far as the card stock, they're a little bit bigger than playing cards. And they are typical tarot card. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I wouldn't call them thin. Um, they shuffle pretty well. I don't really have any issues with that. I will say that with a lot of use, they will start bending over time because they aren't they don't have any sort of lamination to them they're very much straight card stock so like i said very brilliant very vibrant imagery especially when it comes to the colors for the chakras i love the world card because it incorporates all of them now I want to get to that Three of Swords card. So typically when you get the Three of Swords, you're looking at heartbreak, you're looking at loss. At the time that I pulled the Three of Swords, I saw someone who is very complacent. Like they're literally sitting and basking in the sunlight and yet they feel just unhappy right so like despite all of the things going on around you if you're not happy within yourself the sun could literally be shining on you and it wouldn't make a difference you would still feel this sense of loss you would still feel this sense of complacency so it's more so looking within to finding the happiness within you so that when the sun shines, you can appreciate that sunshine. You can appreciate the beauty happening around you. And it was at the time that I got that message from this card that I was like, I will be keeping this deck forever because you can see beyond the typical meanings of these tarot cards with the imagery, right? So again, I love what Tori Hartman did when it comes to incorporating chakras and divination. Um, I feel like this is an okay deck for a beginner. Um, it's easy to feel a bit overwhelmed because again, you're incorporating chakras and you're incorporating tarot. If you're beginning, I would definitely say, let's start with tarot and then move into a deck like this. However, if it calls to you, I am always gonna say if a deck calls to you, get it no matter your skill level, you can always work up to a better understanding of it. But off bat, I would say that unless this deck calls to you, I would incorporate tarot first before incorporating the chakras on top of it. Um, intermediate, advanced, this is an awesome deck to have. It's a great standalone deck. It's a great clarifying deck. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Nine out of 10 would recommend, right? Let me know how you guys feel about this particular deck. If this is a deck that you'd buy, if it's a deck that you wouldn't buy, let me know in the comments. Um, I love all of the feedback that I've been getting uh, from my reviews. So please keep them coming. Subscribe, like, share. Um, if you'd like to book a reading, you can always hit me up at on Facebook or Instagram at Coco Kitten Bruja. You can go to CocoKittenBruja.com as well. Um, if you like any of the resin pieces that you see here, there's tons more over at prismbyckb.com. All of that will be in the description. I love and appreciate you guys. Until next time, peace.